In Hack 59 of their book Mind Hacks, Tom Stafford and Matt Webb use a classic illusion known as the McGurk effect to show how our senses combine to completely change our ultimate experience of perception. Knowing what's going to happen doesn't even keep you from experiencing the illusion. It just weakens the effect of it. Let's try it out. Watch my lips as I make a few sounds. Ba 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 ba. Now, listen to just the audio portion of that clip. Ba 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 ba. Besides perhaps being a little bit creepy, when you watch the video, I should have appeared to be saying da da. But when you listen to the audio without the video, it's clear I'm saying ba ba. This illusion cannot happen in real life. Like McGurk, I made it by splicing the audio of me saying ba ba over a video of me making a different sound. Ga ga. When you're not watching the video, you hear what I'm actually saying. But when you see my lips moving, the two bits of information clash. The position of a person's mouth is key in telling what sound someone is making, especially for distinguishing between speech sounds, called phonemes, like ba, ga, pa, and da, which are all made by popping air out. Beyond just a neat little mind trick, the McGurk effect has some practical uses as well. In Hack 57 of his book, Digital Video Hacks, Josh Paul shows how to create the effect yourself, as I've done in this video, and use it in your own movies to fool your audience. Here's an example of applying the effect. Watch my lips as I mouth a couple words while dubbing over a completely different phrase. I love you. What did I say? Could you tell that I was saying olive juice in the video before editing it with a different audio track? Does it even matter? This type of editing occurs frequently when feature films are shown on TV. Some words obviously are frowned upon by the FCC, and when movie houses edit them out, they generally try to fool you into believing that the new audio is original to the movie, or at least keep you from noticing the difference too much. A common example is when someone shouts, FORGET YOU, on screen. Though you know a different phrase was used in the original, the illusion is convincing enough to keep you from being distracted by the dubbing. But when the illusion is used with words that don't quite fit the context of the movie, the effect tends to break down. For example, when I hear John Goodman shout, This is what happens when you meet a stranger in the Alps, I know the effect has failed miserably. Thanks for watching this Hacks Zine video podcast. For more information on the McGurk effect, see Mind Hacks by Tom Stafford and Matt Webb, Josh Paul's Digital Video Hacks, and the links included in this blog post.